Hello everyone, Alien Volt here, and I'm playing Elder Scrolls Online. And I'm actually grouped up right now with my wife on her character, and we are uh, going to conquer this dungeon. This is a single-player, two-person dungeon. It's not a. Uh, it's not something you have to really do with the group finder. You can solo these if you so choose. Or you can group up with one other person. No more than one person is needed. I really have a good time playing this game. I have other characters as well, but this one I only play with hers. This character is actually my High Elf Nightblade. And uh, basically he is kind of played similar to a rogue and a hunter but without a pet. That uh, AOE does a lot of damage. Actually, any of the strikes really do. I really like my Nightblade, he seems to do a lot of damage, but I'll tell you what, man, my wife's mage seems to do more. I've watched her clear through mobs that I'm clearing through on the other side. She tears things up. The nice thing about this game too is you can actually switch weapons on the fly like I just did right there and you get an entirely new combat bar. So new set of spells you use, whatever you previously set up. No matter which weapon I use though, most of the abilities, or at least the ones that require the magicka, um, are basically shared abilities. So any weapon I use will still use the same ones. I originally intended for him to be just melee, and then after I started using a bow, I actually really liked it. So now I find myself using the bow as much or more often than I actually use the daggers. These stones that we're actually uh, collecting or absorbing, once you collect three of them, you actually get a talent point, which is pretty cool, but you do have to search them out because they're not always easy to find. So if you're into exploring, it definitely pays off. If not, and you just try to level quickly without really paying attention to stuff like that, you're going to miss out on quite a few talent points. 
Alright, here's an elite. Stay back at range as much as I can. None of us are tanks, so <laughs> none of us can take a lot of damage. Oh, he went down easy. There's three of us here. Which makes this dungeon super easy. You also have to search really well for uh, like tomes mage for the mages guild and stuff like that you'll find rare books around here and as you collect them you actually increase your reputation with the mages guild um, which then allows you to use more spells and such with uh, that talent line That's about uh, all of this dungeon. Just have to work our way out now and turn in the quest. But we have a lot of fun with this game. The graphics are really nice on it. It plays pretty good. They've uh, definitely done a lot of work on it. The only thing I really dislike is that you just don't have enough bag space for all the crafting professions this game actually has in it. And here's our map of the area that we're actually in right now. As you can see, we're still trying to open up and discover everything. But look at the graphics of the environment. Really nice. Well, that's going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll definitely be posting some more up of Elder Scrolls Online as we play. I'll throw some up of my Dragon Knight too. He's uh, right about 50. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.